I'm Rachel Hewitt from HESA and I'm going to talk you through an overview of our new Graduate Outcomes Survey. The Graduate Outcomes Survey collects information on what graduates go on to do after they leave higher education. Data on what graduates do provides a crucial source of evidence used for promoting student choice, informing media commentary and underpinning policy making. HESA has been collecting information about graduate destinations for over 20 years. This has previously been done through the Destinations of Leavers from Higher Education Survey, more commonly known as the Delhi Survey. However, we have recently fundamentally reviewed the data collected on graduates through extensive consultation with the sector. This has led to the development of the Graduate Outcomes Survey. Graduate Outcomes will capture rich, robust and comprehensive data about graduates using a future-proof and efficient methodology. The data will be collected through an annual survey of all graduates from higher education, which runs 15 months after graduation. The move to the 15-month survey point was chosen to better reflect changes in the graduate labour market and allow graduates time to move into their careers or further study while still maintaining high response rates. The survey will be run by a central survey contractor through a process of open centralisation, which allows providers to retain a significant stake in the process. The setup and operation of this survey will be overseen by a steering group with representatives from across the sector. The survey has been designed to use linked data where sources are available to avoid asking graduates questions where we can source this information elsewhere. This will lessen the chances of survey fatigue. One example of this is data on graduate salaries which will be supplied by linked HMRC data. Graduates will be asked questions about their activities on a census week, for example whether they've gone into employment, further study or another activity. If they've gone into work, questions are asked about the kind of role they've taken up and their place of employment. The survey will also capture better information on those starting up their own businesses or developing creative portfolios than has been available before. If a graduate has gone into further study, some questions will be asked about the kind of study they are undertaking, although where possible this data will be linked from existing student data. Graduate voice questions are a new feature in the survey which allow graduates to represent their own view on what success means to them. These ask whether a graduate's current activity is in line with their future plans, whether what they're doing is meaningful and important to them, and whether they are using the skills developed in their studies in their current activity. These measures provide a vital new viewpoint of what is meant by graduate success, contextualising the existing measures such as whether they've gone into graduate level employment or how much a graduate is earning. We've also developed opt-in question banks which can be opted into by providers. These include questions about the subjective well-being of graduates and a net promoter score which asks graduates whether they would recommend the course or provider to a friend. There is also the option for providers to ask their own questions. The first graduate outcome survey will be in place for graduates from the 2017-18 academic year. Graduates will be split into four cohorts depending on when they left their provider and there will be four surveys a year to capture the data as close to 15 months post-graduation as possible. The survey will begin in December 2018, with the first data available in early 2020. The move to graduate outcomes is a shift from previous surveys, such as the Delhi. This means the requirements on providers will be different. Providers will no longer have to conduct the survey themselves, however they will need to submit contact details to HESA, the survey contractor to use to conduct the survey. This means they will need to be collecting and maintaining contact details up until 15 months post-graduation. They will also need to raise awareness of the survey by promoting it to graduates. This change in methodology will enable the new survey to operate more efficiently and provide richer and more robust data for providers, for policymakers, for students, for employers and for all those with an interest in understanding the value of higher education. Further information about graduate outcomes is available on HESA's website.